Okay, there's been a lot of nonsense on the internet about what is happening in Palestine. And I want to make this short video just to give some basic geopolitical realities about this region. So we're looking now at a map where the um, Israel, Palestine, Lebanon, what is called by the English the Middle East, or what I call the, the Levant, is in the centre of the screen. So as we zoom in, if we have a look at the current situation, if we go all the way in, we can see that the Gaza Strip is a very small strip of land on the edge of the Mediterranean. And in the north of that strip is Gaza City, which Israeli military is intending to invade. And they've been bombing now for a week. Um, now, in that area, underneath the city itself, there are a lot of subterranean tunnels. And those tunnels cannot be viewed by sensors or by satellite equipment. So that presents a problem for the invasion of that part of Palestine by the Israeli war machine. And they are, if you look at the cursor, they're all around this area here. And they're on, right on the border fences, which is shown by the, the 1950 armistice agreement line. And They've asked 1.1 million people who are already refugees from this area here in 1948. They've asked 1.1 million people to evacuate south down over this, this water here. It's really a dry bed. It, um, it's a seasonal water thing. That, that's a wadi. And they've asked the people to go down here into the south of the Gaza Strip to this main town of Khan Yunus. There are a total of about 2.1 2 to 2.3 million people in this very small 140 square kilometre area. Now, if we look at the broader front of things, um, after the attack on Israel by the um, Hamas's military arm, al Qassam. The, there are a number of things that have, that have taken place. One of them is that the conflict has been broadened somewhat, um, and this has been largely by the Israelis. They have requested and received American warships. The Gerald Ford has come in here, the biggest aircraft carrier in the world, and they've, it's come in here and, and the purpose of that warship has got nothing to do with what's happening in Gaza, but everything to do with keeping Iran out of the conflict. So if you go to the east, you see a long way over to the east is Saudi Arabia, Iraq, and then Iran. Iran is a very big country of well over 45 million people. It's got a very high standard of living, and it's a... It, you know, it is a sizable uh, power in the region and it's quite wealthy as well. So a small country like um, Israel can't really contend with Iran. So they need the United States um, full military support, which has been given. Now, at the same time, in the occupied territories, as Google doesn't really recognise this, but in the occupied territories there have been a, a lot of um, Israeli activity, especially in towns like Nablus, the old city of Nablus, in Janine. Uh, they have been arresting a lot of people, they've been shooting a lot of people, and they're in total lockdown under the influence of the occupation army, which is the Israelis. So 
what is going on here is an extension of the colonial experiment that Israel has set about and they are colonizing and taking back the land in Gaza they're taking they're trying to expel people from the West Bank this area here they already expelled a lot of people from Jerusalem and what we're looking at is the third Al Nakba so the first one was in 1948 where they killed a lot of people and drove them out from their land. The second one was in 1967 during the Six Day War. And this one is the third Al Nakba. It's a catastrophe. Now, to the north, we have another contending force of quite a strong military, and that is uh, the military of Hezbollah. Now, it drove Israel out of the southern part of Lebanon that we're looking at now. It drove the Israeli tanks and military out of southern Lebanon. And the Israelis have been pretty upset about that. Um, uh, it's, uh, but they can't really do much about it because Hezbollah is quite heavily armed. They have a lot of rockets, a lot of missiles. Like the Israeli can't even put their gunboats, um, you know, they've got gunboats off um, off Gaza, but they can't really put many gunboats off here because they get shot out of the water, which happened during the war with Hezbollah um, back in the day. So here we have the capital of Lebanon and then Damascus. Now, two days ago, the Israeli Air Force, as they are wont to do, they bombed the main international airport of Damascus just as a diplomat from Iran was flying in. He had to skedaddle out of there. So they bombed Damascus Airport and they also bombed an airport in the north at Aleppo. Aleppo has been the subject of, of the, um, the Syrian civil war for one of a better term. But there's still um, one airport that Syria has, and that's Latakia, which is right up in the north here. And it is, Latakia is um, on the Mediterranean. So if you're a Syrian, really the only way you can get out is through this airport up here at Latakia on the the Mediterranean seaboard. So they're really shutting down the whole region. Um, they're not allowing, this is something that the Australian Prime Minister should be talking about, they're not allowing humanitarian aid to get into Gaza through the Rafa crossing. Um, and the, a lot of the humanitarian charities in, in Egypt, this is to the south, is all Egypt, they want to send in trucks to give relief to the people who have run out of food, water, and 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 energy, you know, like petrol and electricity. So that's the current situation that we're looking at um, today, which is Sunday. Um, so we're a full eight days into this siege of Gaza by. Israel, in response to the military attack by uh, Hamas on their bases of, upon some of the towns there, all these towns here, they were formerly towns that were owned by the people who had to flee to Gaza as a result of the um, 1948 Al-Nakba. So Sirdot, there's one there. Now I'm, I'm led to believe that a lot of these towns have been evacuated by the Israeli military as well. So a lot of Israelis have gone up uh, north or gone elsewhere um, to get out of this um, really, this whole military operation that's going on at the moment. So I'll just leave it at that. Um, and if there are any questions, just uh, put them down below and I'll try to answer them.
This is Ian Kerr from 4PR Voice of the People signing off. See ya.